That is the camper van almost packed and it is time to go on a camping trip. I bought this camper van last year and uh, then we went into lockdown so we barely had any use of it. I'm gonna head up north uh, to basically where I lived last year which is uh, around the Ballater area and I'm gonna head up for some photography up in the hills. I'm uh, heading for Loch Nagar to hopefully photograph dotterels snow buntings maybe, ptarmigans, golden plover, mountain hares. There's a few variety of species up there that are really cool that I want to photograph. But I checked the weather report and it is coming down. It is snowing, it is minus degrees. We've just come into May and this is usually quite a nice time of year here in uh, Scotland. Sometimes it's when we get the warmest weather for the summer, but not this year. It is cold and so obviously I got I got a sleeping bag with me, duvet, all kinds of stuff to keep warm at night and loads of coffee, tons of coffee, some freshly baked bread. So I think it's going to be a good adventure and I'm also meeting up with uh, a photographer, Richard Burchett, who you might know, he's got a YouTube channel, he's down south, he's got a great YouTube channel, so do check him out. I'll catch up with him in a couple of days, so we'll see how long these videos get because I haven't done a project like this before and filmed it. I haven't actually done a project like this at all before. I've used the van a little bit, but not much. I haven't spent more than probably one night out um, and then gone out for photography. But I got three days ahead of me and I got a little dog with me here now. We've just been watching this little dog here for a few days. So I'm dropping him off in Ballater. The weather's not looking excellent. It's gonna rain a lot. And up in the hills, it's actually gonna snow. We got minus degrees. So I'm bringing winter clothes with me, which is just crazy as we're coming into May just now. But this is the van. I'll uh, show you guys a little bit around it as we get on with the vlog. Uh, we bought it used last year just um, down from Northumberland, so just north of England. Drove down there uh, in the between the lockdowns, picked this up. And it's an old one, it's got a lot of mileage on it, but uh, we, we just love it. And it's a converted, you know, it used to be a builder's van, so converted and a pull out bed underneath here. But I'll show you guys that later and a bit of cooking facilities right here. Basically what, what I need to stay comfortable and we got a solar panel on the roof so I should be able to charge all batteries and everything like that when going ahead. I've just cleared my laptop so that's, and I've just put on the programs that I need for it. You know, editing photos and editing videos. So hopefully I can do a little bit of that uh, while I'm camping. Anyways, it should be a lot of fun. I'm super excited about this and I'll, hopefully you guys can join me on this trip. I'll be filming, I'll put a bit of stuff on social media and um, yeah, it should be really good. I am heading for Loch Nagar and it is covered in snow. But just as I around this corner is a herd of red deer right in front of me. So I pulled over to the side of the road, taking a couple of photos, um, but they're so close to the road and I don't know how they're gonna react because I'm a little bit, I've stopped a little bit further away. I might drive a little bit closer and see if I can pull in. There's a lay-by closer to them and that way I can kind of turn around and photograph towards them. And I got the light on that side as well. Uh, but we're getting all kinds of weather here. It's dark clouds, but there's openings, there's rain, there's a bit of everything. But these red deer are so cool. So let's try and move over to the next lay-by. Hopefully they'll stay there. They'll stay put and won't run away. All right, let's give that a shot. I drove up a little bit and I got a few photos 
they got a little bit spooked. They moved around a little bit, but not much. And then they kind of settled again. But then unfortunately, this other car right behind me here drove right up to them and stopped in front of them. And now they're just, they're just walking away. So that's a shame, but I got a few photos, got some video. Now I'm happy with that. I'm here below Lucknagar and I was thinking about walking up today, but I just kind of had a change of mind there because um, I have no signal here, so I can't see the weather report. Uh, I don't know the biggest, the latest changes. It is dark right now. It's cloudy. I don't know if I want to spend, you know, I'll take me a couple of hours up there um, with all my gear. So instead of that, something that I'm doing more of and um, I have to wreck you a bit when I'm out for a run or a cycle. So I'm going to head out for a run and I'm going to treat the run as a little bit of a wreck. I'm going to have a look around and see if I see anything. Sorry about the shaky footage. There's no way I can hold this still. <laughs> I like to go around this lot. I will see if I make it. That is back there somewhere. Oh, this is an amazing run. I've had common sand pipe right along the path here. Just a little stream down to Loch Mick. And I also heard this kind of black grouse bubbling sound from the little conifer plantation over there. It's got some individual trees outside it, so I reckon good chances of like nearby. And I, I know they are in the area anyway, so really cool and Let's explore tomorrow though. Tomorrow I'm heading up to the hills behind me here. There's one higher. I'm gonna go up high first and make my way back down to this plateau thing you see behind me here. Anyways, I'm gonna finish the circuit and then cook up some burgers and have a drink. I'll see you back in the van. My legs are hurting a bit after that run, but I really want to show you guys these deer. There's quite a few out in these um, grasslands here, but um, not really. The signs all over the place saying you shouldn't really go off the path, and this is quite visible. I really don't want to chase them either. So. Hopefully they're still over here where they were close to the path. So I don't know if you can see this, but I got uh, a herd right behind me. And there's a few down by the river down here as well. So even though this is the wrong direction for the sunlight, I'm trying to get ahead of them and then, um, then wait. Uh, get photos that way so I don't spook them. I've walked in front of them a little bit now. I'm just gonna go just behind one of these rocks here and wait until they pop up behind the horizon behind me.
got a couple of images and you know these these deer are I'd say semi wild so don't really mind that much just a little bit of photography before the day is over now though I'm gonna head back to the van and maybe find a different place to park up for the night we'll see I like to get I like to get some better views I like to be a little bit off of my own don't like to just camp in the parking lot even if it is a nice parking lot I'm hungry I got a perfect camping spot just pull up here is a little side road I can see there's people who've been here before had some fires and stuff um, we've got the views to Loch Nagar where I'm going tomorrow up here it's time to cook some burgers have a beer.